Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how you can display parent and child categories individually in a slider with the WooCommerce Category Slider Pro plugin. Make sure that WooCommerce Category Slider Pro plugin is installed in your WordPress site along with the WooCommerce plugin. You can directly click on Add New or you can click Look at Slider and then click Add New to create a new slider and give it a title. As our goal is to show you how you can display parent and child categories individually, so let's directly move on to the general settings and category type properties. <laughs> When you select parent and child category, you will find a few properties like parent and child to choose, display type and exclude labels. To display the parent and child individually, select display type as individualize each, which has been selected as by default. Let's see how the individualize each display type looks like in the live preview. Click show preview and you can see this is how the individualize each display type looks like in the slider. All the categories are showing at a time here. If you want to exclude different level of WooCommerce categories, then use the exclude label feature. Suppose you don't want to show the great grandchild categories, so what you have to do is check the box and update the preview. And you will see all the great grandchild categories will be removed from the slider. Similarly, you can exclude parent, child and grandchild categories as well. You can display the categories in different layout presets like slider, grid, and block. Go to the display options to configure category content position from below content, above content, right content, left content, or over the content. Check the box to make the slider card style. So let's check it and see how it looks. So this is how the card style slider looks like in the live preview. Show or hide the category icon, category name, product count, custom text, and description. Configure the shop now button related properties from here. So now if I update the preview, you will see all the other informations has been removed from the slider except category name and the shop now button. Go to the thumbnail settings to configure category thumbnails related properties. Like you can select a shape, set box shadow, border, inner padding, margin, zoom effect, and image mode effect. So if I select the shape to rounded and update the preview, you will see this is how the rounded shape looks like. Go to the slider controls to configure autoplay, navigation, and pagination related properties. If you want to customize category text related properties, then go to the typography settings. Here you will find all the options like font family, font style, subset, text alignment, text transformation, font size, line height, letter spacing, font color, and font hover color to change. Now let's publish the shortcode and copy the shortcode ID from here. Go to a page where you want to display it. Insert the shortcode in a text code or shortcode block. Publish the page and view it. You can see this is how all the categories are displaying individually in the slider. Like here, men is the parent category, men's accessories, men's clothing are its child categories, pants is its grandchild categories. So similarly, all the categories are showing like this. So that's all about today, in the next video I will come up with another beautiful feature of the plugin, until then take care.